Hello guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this one, we're going to be looking at how to find all six collectible hatchets in-game. These weapons you find lying around in the game world, only one of each exists in-game. I'm going to show you guys the location. In total, there are actually eight hatchets to collect, but one is available to purchase from fences later in the game. The other is only available if you completed the relevant GTA bounty mission, which I didn't, but there are already a ton of vids on how to get the stone hatchet if you did do that mission. Okay then, there are six discoverable in the world, I will go over them. If this video is helpful, like and share, it is very much appreciated. We'll start with the one closest to Valentine, the double bit hatchet. Look on your map to the west of Valentine and look for the Wallace train station. Just slightly northwest of the letter W on the Wallace station, in a tree stump just above the lonely chimney is the double bit hatchet. The chimney is a small black dot if you're wondering on the map. A rare hatchet featuring a double bladed head, one razor sharp side for chopping and cutting, and a dull side for splitting wood. This melee weapon was found in a tree stump near Wallace Station in Big Valley and appears to be fairly new. This hatchet can also be thrown. Next, another one relatively close to Valentine, the Hunter Hatchet. Look at your map, follow the Dakota River north to Window Rock. Just below the name on the map is a small shack, it's easy to see, and at the shack location to the right is the hatchet inside of another tree stump. A rare hatchet with a long bearded axe bit that allows for greater control when planning or shaving wood. The melee weapon was found in a tree stump near Widow Rock in the Grizzlies and appears to be new. This hatchet can also be thrown. And just so you're wondering guys, all of the hatchets are found inside of tree stumps. From here we're moving east, I'm covering these from west to east. The next hatchet is the Hewing Hatchet. Look on the map east of Valentine to a pond called Moonstone. The hatchet is located just beside the pond. Again, there is a building, so you know exactly where to go on the map. The Hewing Hatchet is located inside of another tree stump outside of the shack. This old and worn hatchet has a flat edge along one side of the blade and is designed for hewing, the process of converting logs into lumber. This melee weapon was found in a tree stump near Moonstone Pond in the Grizzlies next to an abandoned shack. This hatchet can also be thrown. From here we're going to head east again to find the Rusted Hunter's Hatchet. It's directly east from your last position at Moonstone Pond and just before, if you're heading east, you get to the train tracks. You can see on the map there is a small shack where this is located. The Rusted Hunter's Hatchet is in a tree stump just to the left behind the shack. A rare hatchet with long bearded axe bit that allows for greater control when planing or shaving wood. The melee weapon was found at a tree stump near the Three Sisters in the Grizzlies and has been worn by the elements over time. This hatchet can also be thrown. Next up we have the Viking Hatchet. I already showed this one in another video but I will quickly go over it again for anyone who wants it. Look on your map to the east of your location again and find the town of Ansberg or you're more specifically looking for the name on the map. Across from the name there is a bend in the river and this is where you will find the ancient tomb. You can see I have already scribbled it on my map so it shows there, but it won't be there until you add it to your journal in your game, so keep that in mind. The hatchet is sitting outside of the tomb, this time inside of a skeleton. Don't forget to pick up the viking helm as well while you're here which is inside of the tomb. A rare ancient hatchet engraved all over with nordic patterns and bound with leather. This melee weapon was found at an old stone altar in the Roanoke Valley area of New Hanover, lodged inside of a skull. This hatchet can also be thrown. Our final hatchet is east of here again, and this one's actually in Ansberg, the small town on the coast. Head to this mining town and at the north end of the town, on the map there is a small building, in front of the bigger Jameson Mining and Coal Company building. The hatchet is easy to find, it's stuck in a final wooden stump in front of this smaller building. A rare hatchet featuring a rusted double bladed head, one razor sharp side for chopping and cutting, and a dull side for splitting wood. This melee weapon was found in a tree stump near Ansberg Mine in Roanoke Ridge and has been worn by the elements over time. This hatchet can also be thrown. So that is it for all six collectible hatchets that you can find in the game world. For stats, all of the hatchets do the same damage, have the same range and have the same accuracy. So despite the different look of all six of these hatchets, plus the other two, each of the hatchets all have identical stats. So it doesn't matter which one you use during combat. Guys, that leaves only the regular hatchet for you to find, which is purchased from fences, and the stone hatchet, but that requires you to complete the GTA mission first in order to get that. I'm going to be showing you tons of quick and easy guides for all the unique weapons and item locations, and more guides to do with weapons and combat in Red Dead. Plus, I'm going to cover Red Dead Online updates when it releases, so subscribe if you want to see more. Don't forget to like and comment as well. Enjoy the rest of your day, 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.